Right, welcome back to another rapid fire meet the team questions on a Friday. At this time, we've got Liam, our other partner for Bradford and Howley. So, uh, without further ado, can we go? At least you've got uh, 12 far questions. Away. Far 12 away. Questions, cool. far First away. questions Does pineapple belong on pizza? Absolutely not. I'm part Italian, so I take it as an insult. Cool. Yeah. Right, number two Would you rather have no social media or no TV for a month? Oh, that's an easy one for me. No social media. I haven't, social I haven't even media. got a social media profile, as far as I'm aware. Apart from the work one, of course, which is very important. <laughs> is it right then? Okay. And if you could travel anywhere, where would you go? If I could travel anywhere, where would I go? I've always wanted to go to Japan, actually. Um, skiing in Japan would probably be top of my list. Skiing in Japan, not the moon? No, skiing in Japan. Too, too, too long in a plane or a rocket. Okay. Scones, jam or cream first? I actually go with my jam on the bottom and the cream on top because I like the cream to stick to something. Okay, favourite song? Favourite song, oh, it's got to be something by Oasis, probably, oh, I don't know, Wonderwall maybe, or Master Plan, something like that. Wonderwall, good choice, good choice. Uh, would you rather have an aisle or window seat on a plane? Definitely aisle, because I've got bad Lush, knees. Stretch the legs. Bad knees, I've got to get up and have a walk. <laughs> Uh, cats or dogs? Ah, oh, dog, Roxy. Dog, right, okay. If you could only eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Easy. Lasagna, salad, and garlic bread. Garlic With bread. some red wine. With a nice wine. Yeah, that's great. Okay, uh, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? One superpower? Oh, I think go back in time. Go back in time? Go back in oh, okay. time. So time yeah. traveller. Okay, like time that. traveller, yeah. Okay, would you meddle? Uh, might do things differently, wouldn't necessarily medal, but you know, maybe <laughs> differently. Okay, describe yourself in three words. Oh, an early riser. Early riser. Is that enough? Yeah, that's three words. An early riser, that's three words. Okay, if you could sell any famous person's house, alive or dead, who would it be? Oh, probably somewhere, something exotic. Um, Richard Branson's Island, Necker, Necker Island. Island. Oh, I do all the viewings, yeah, obviously yeah, they'd yeah. have to be accompanied. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we do several open days on that one. Absolutely. <laughs> week, week long, month long. <laughs> well, if you need any help, yeah, um, come along. Yeah, obviously. You have to do the photos. <laughs> right, and the last one then. Strangest request you've ever had from a buyer or seller? Strangest request from a buyer or seller? Um, Probably the strangest request I've had from a seller, you know, who ultimately are our, our sort of clients. It was about, it must have been, I don't know, two years ago, um, a lady selling a house, she had a five bedroom detached house. Um, the, the photos were done on whatever day of the week. Um, she left the key out in a safe box, went in there, had a look around, it was all done. Went into the master bedroom, which was one of the sort of show pay, showpiece bits of the, uh, of the house, and she hadn't made the bed. And when I say she hadn't made the bed, there was no sheets on it, no duvet, no pillowcases. So I phoned her on a mobile and said, you haven't made the bed. And she said, oh my God, I've gone out in a hurry. Can you do it for me? So I had to make the whole bed, <laughs> top to bottom, tuck the sheets in, do with pillows, make it all nice. When she came back that night, she came back and texted me and said, it's the best the bed's ever looked. But I did used to work in a hotel when I was younger. So gold star for me. It's probably the strangest one. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Liam. No problem. You're welcome. Tune in next nice week for another team member. See you soon.